Welcome Hello. inside, John. Good Hello. morning to you. Say it ain't so. I see the Guardians, Emmanuel Class A, 28 and 33. I mean, they're two games, two and a half games back in the Central. You selling that to your fan base? You think he'll move? <laughs> um, it is possible. I wouldn't say likely. He's okay. not a free agent until 2027, so that's a long time off. And uh, they obviously have a good deal with him, but he has a big value not having his typical season, though he does have a 20 big saves, doesn't have the strikeout numbers that he normally does, but... Obviously, they would get a haul for him. I think it's a long shot, but look, Josh Hader was traded last year. You never know with these relievers. Hader's team was in first place, not second like the Guardians are. And, you know, the Guardians are a team that is willing to deal. So I'm not going to rule it out. And Emmanuel's year isn't the same season that we saw a year ago no. with the central teams, though. We usually say wait and see in a month's time. But do you think those standings are going to change so dramatically that the Guardians could be 10 games, right? They're not going to be 10 the games back in that division. Well, you wouldn't think so, but look, we, we saw a team, as I said, uh, trade out of first place last year, right? Yeah, so you, you never know with okay. these guys. Um, I'm not going to rule it out. Obviously, Shane Bieber is a guy also who could be traded, and that's been speculated a lot, and I believe it. So if you could trade Shane Bieber, you could trade certainly a reliever, even a great one. It's different for the Royals. I mean, it just is, right? Yeah. Royals Chapman. I mean, few players, I would imagine, few relievers are more obvious trade candidates than him. Yes. Yes. I mean, obviously, he was involved in a huge trade uh, one time before to the Yankees. Uh, he's going to get traded. I, there's no question about that. And he's going to get a good value because, look, he's got 35 strikeouts. He's allowed no home runs this year. Uh, he did have a little bout with wildness uh, recently, but uh, – He's been much better this year than last. It's a very good signing by the Royals at only around $4 million. So uh, they should get a haul for him. And Barlow, who is generally their closer at seven saves, solid pitcher. Uh, they could get a lot for him as well. It is the beauty of the Royals' position, and correct me if I'm wrong, is that they can shop him now and maybe get a bigger haul. And they don't have to win yeah, because they know they're Right, and there's paying. no competition because all these exactly. other guys I'm going to name, they're not going to be traded anytime sure. soon. These other teams are going to wait right up until July 30th or 31st before they figure out what they are doing. So right now the Royals are the only game in town that has got two very good relievers who could be traded now. You're, you're absolutely right. So maybe they will take advantage of that. You're not trading David Bednar, are you? I mean, they were very in first unlikely. place this week. Uh, very unlikely. Unlikely, yes. yeah. I mean, right, they're only a game and a half out now. Now uh, they're obviously having a very nice season, um, but you never know. Obviously, uh, he's having a great year. Wow, an ERA just over one. He's got a 30 to one strikeout to walk ratio. You can't do much better than that. 30 strikeouts, one walk. I figured that all by myself. And uh, you know, I mean, he's been one of the best relievers in baseball. I mean, I think it's unlikely, but. You never know. I mean, uh, nobody expected Pittsburgh to be in this position to begin with. Maybe they do fall back a bit. Um, I actually think they're pretty good, so I don't think that's going to happen. But if it does, it's a possibility. We have documented how reliever stock changes year to year. Are teams more likely to change them because of the inconsistency that they think perhaps could lie ahead with relievers as opposed to a shortstop, a position player? Yeah, I mean, that is certainly a possibility. Again, with Hayter, we saw last year, he went into a little slump. That's when they traded him. Um, you never know. Relievers do go up and down. Bednar's trend looks pretty good, though, right now. I read in the New York Post, Alexis Diaz to the Mets. Is that, that There's nothing more New York than that. Come on. Yeah, well, I mean, you know if you're a Met person, you'd love it. Uh, Met scouts are looking at him right now. I don't <laughs> think they've had any discussions. Obviously, it would be quite a story for him to replace his brother, Edwin Diaz, uh, who was injured, unfortunately, in the WBC celebration. Uh, right now, yeah, 14 for 14. He's showing that he is an excellent closer as well and look at those numbers they're about like his brother was last year without the without the trombone and all the other music but pretty darn good but are the reds in the nl central perhaps in a better situation yeah. than the mets are in the nl East? <laughs> uh well we know the mets are going for it they're 377 million in so we know they're going for it the reds are like most of the other teams in these central divisions other than the royals it's kind of up in the air. Now, obviously, there's a lot of excitement about the Reds right now. McLean has been very good. Uh, De La Cruz has been, in these two games, incredible. And just the, the excitement. It was a near pandemonium in Cincinnati when he came up the number one prospect in baseball. So there's a lot of excitement around Cincinnati. I mean, these trades are mostly 
if they start to fall back. And of course, we have almost two months to go, so a lot can happen at Do that time. Do you know, because you're an insider, if the ticket website crashed when Ellie De La Cruz came up? Because I told Bill that, and he's forever the skeptic. He did not believe me. Do you have any idea if that's true or I, not? I don't know. I, okay. I wasn't shopping for red tickets at <laughs> okay. the moment. Well, I read it on sorry. the internet, so it must be true. <laughs>